All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise as you are able and remove your hats as Avondale Police and Fire Honor Guard presents our nation's colors. Here to offer today's invocation, please welcome from North Bible Church in Scottsdale, Arizona, Pastor Chad Allen. Good afternoon, Phoenix Raceway. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you on this beautiful day that you've made, and we thank you that we get to experience family, friends, fun, and friendly competition. We are thankful that NASCAR still acknowledges you and seeks your hand of protection. We humbly but boldly ask for safety for the drivers, crews, and fans in every race. And we ask a blessing for them and their families both on and off the track. We thank you for the ability to experience excitement and adrenaline and how they remind us that the greatest joy and pleasure in this life is found in personally knowing you and your love. Again, we praise you and thank you for this day and ask for your hand of blessing and protection all over this race. In Jesus' name we pray, we all set. Amen. Amen. Here to perform our national anthem, please welcome the United States Army veteran, retired firefighter, and award-winning gospel recording artist, James Rambo Smith. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who'd brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the rebels we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the most first thing in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still This thing could be better, but it's still decent. I'm just wondering. I did not know that Sheldon Creed had kids, by the way. <laughs> That's my fault for not noticing. Like, I, I genuinely am surprised that he actually has a kid. Well, like, there's not, nothing to make fun of him, but, like, I, I didn't know. I just didn't know. All right. Finity series from Phoenix. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Shane Van Gisbergen talks on that call. I completely keep forgetting that he's full time. That's the thing. Completely keep forgetting. Rest in peace, Akira. I, 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 I did my moment of silence yesterday on SmackDown. I'm going to do a quick, like, moment of silence, like, for him. Condolences to him and his family. Okay, so I have like a little prayer, moment of silence there, so yeah. 2024 sucks. <laughs> Chase is starting third. I'm not going to watch all that. Tiffany Shine is so popular with the crowd and she's been on the main roster for a month. She's winning, she's winning the women's title this year, whether you like it or not. She's winning that title. Yeah. Ooh, 
with some nice deals. Congratulations to Dom, dude. Huge congratulations to Dom. KSI had another WWE already. Yeah, he just he gets he gets beat up every time. He's not even heel. He doesn't even talk. <laughs> he doesn't even talk in the mic. He just gets beat up. That's it. Karrion Cross really has the most divisive finisher in WWE. You either love it or hate it. It's uh, it's weird. Final prayer is weird, and I'm not even trying to be sacrilegious either. It's just, it just I don't like calling it that. I don't even know what I can call it. Size of the crowd of last night last night's night down. That is sick. Sold out thirteen thousand in Dallas. Well, not really sold out because like some people sat behind the WrestleMania sign. Like some people if if they sat behind the WrestleMania sign. Um, Seth Rollins gets his first ever WrestleMania main event. Give him his flowers for real. Biggest tag team match ever. Yeah, it was made official last night. Cody and Seth versus Roman and Rock. Although Seth accepted it for Cody, so. Hmm. Hamlin, what is that car? How did I just say this? I didn't watch qualifying. I was playing 2K. 2K24 bite now. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, Denny Hamlin just says he's gonna start the poll. That's cool. Uh, that car? That car though? What is that? It's, it's just red. It's red. I posted my picture. Yeah, I did. I'm at, I'm just gonna have to wait eleven minutes for this. The prime logo will be in the center of the ring at every PLE. This bum tapped. No, it's just two, right? It's just two. I think you have to do it three times. Just to... That's what I always thought. You have to, like, tap on the mat three times. He only tapped it two. He's like, not. And usually it's like this. There. That's when you tap up. It's, that's kind of accurate. You never know. Jamie Little's in the booth. Prayers to Adam Alexander, who had a death in the family. I uh, hope they're okay. My head's hurting a lot right now. It sucks. No, didn't the double zero win win this race last season in the championship race? I'm wondering. Oh, my head hurts. He's stuttering a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's stuttering a lot. I'm not sure how I feel about Jamie Little like doing commentary, but okay. Are they gonna this Raceway? This is a moment you have all been waiting for. Are you ready to get this NASCAR Xfinity Series? Call 811.com every dig every time <laughs> 200 started. Here to get the command of fire engines is a U.S. Department Bruh. of Transportation Associate Administrator for Pipeline and Hazardous Material Safety, Alan Mayberry. Take it away, Alan. I'm honored to represent call811.com today. Drivers, start your engines! Alright. Good enough. I, I, I'm just wondering, like, do they get paid to say this is the moment you're... Like, because they didn't do that last year. They didn't do that last year. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Like... No, but this is, like, they've been recently saying, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Like, is that, do they, are they getting paid to say that or something? Like, or, because I'm, like, I haven't heard that ever. Engines are fired, though. At 3.47, that's when they're going to go green.
I got all these die casts for twelve dollars total how they do. David Reagan's BK card, uh LaJoy's BK card, Cody Wears, and Kyle Bush. How did you get Kyle Bush for three dollars? Just witness Ava change her BFP like three times in the span of five minutes. Sorry. Y'all wouldn't survive the attitude there? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm Paul Coker. Four stars standing in the ring and crowd was singing Seth Rollins' song. It's catchy. There he goes. 45. Okay, so it's literally the same amount of laughs as Vegas, just a short track. AEW could never sell out. Yeah, but I don't know why you're thinking about AEW while being at a SmackDown arena in Dallas. Like, think, dude, think. Jerry Judy to the Rams? I, I'm just saying. I've known that since the whole time. Mansoor. Nice. Cody Rhodes' his Kingdom theme song has surpassed 40 million streams on Spotify W's. Which Texas team has the best uniforms? Okay, San Antonio. There's the Renegades. Uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna go with Houston's. I'm gonna go with Houston's. I'm sorry, I haven't. I don't know. They're for XFL. For XFL. Well, XFL's gone now. But like, whatever. Roman Reigns four weeks ago told Seth Rollins he wore his wife's clothing while burying his world title. None of you said a word. Last night, he said the same thing, and it's canceled Roman Reigns. Um, to be fair, like, everything he says, like, everything, like, that could be said in a more passive way has not been said in the PG era, because it's not PG, and I hate it. WrestleMania 50 sponsor? Absolutely not! <laughs> whatever, whatever. 74 degrees there. The track temperature is 104. There's no freaking way I'm going down there. <laughs> What did I pick? I already forgot. Okay. I have, um... I picked Nemechek. I picked a Nemechek to go back-to-back. -back. Uh, my backup would be Sammy Smith. And my third, second backup... Ugh, sorry. Would be Creed, and my long shot is going to be Chandler Smith. Save as draft. I can't hear him that much. I can't hear him that well, to be honest with you. Who is the, who are they interviewing right now? He's like, I'm, I want to be the best. I want to run every lap. Why is he saying this? Who is this guy? I'm just saying. That's not Haim, is it? Gosh. Oh. You have a Gibbs card. Uh, starting second. You have Cole Custer starting first. Corey Haim, okay, never mind. That's Corey Haim starting third. That was not Corey Haim in the freaking radio. Right here, so it's like fourth. Voice crack. 
Justin Allgaier fifth, Sheldon Creed sixth, Jesse Love seventh, Amarola eighth, and Nemechek ninth, and Almendinger tenth. Is that all of Gibbs Racing in the, in the top ten? Yeah, I think it is. Brennan Jones eleventh, Parker Kligerman twelfth, Ryan Seek thirteenth, Kyle Whalen fourteenth, Austin Hill fifteenth, Sammy Smith sixteenth, Jeb Burns seventeenth, Parker Rislap eighteenth, and Haley Deegan nineteenth. Anthony Alfredo rounds out the top twenty. Sam Mayer will start 21st, Brandon Poole 22nd, Shane Van Gisbergen number 23rd, uh, Leland Honeyman will start 24th, Jeremy Clements 25th, Kyle Seek 26th, Justin Williams 27th, William Byron 28th, damn! BJ McLeod 29th, and Ryan Ellis will round up the top 30. Blaine Perkins will start 31st, JJ Yaley 32nd, Dawson Cram 33rd, Nick Lades 34th, Frankie Muniz 35th, Patrick Emily 36th, Ryan Vargas 37th, and Garrett Smith 38th. Um... Frankie and Garrett are two notable names here. Well, it really does not matter if Austin Hill's starting in the back. He's going to eventually find his way back up. <laughs> you never know. You never know. We're about to go back green. We're about to go green as well for Phoenix. So just might as well just get everything ready here. Sammy Smith starting 16th. He was the 2023 Phoenix winner last spring. That's why I picked him. So that's why he's my backup pick. Need some hydration after all the talking I'm doing right now. Sheldon Creed starting 6. His best Phoenix Phoenix Phoenix. His best Phoenix finish was second last year in the fall race. The fact he is finishing second over and over and over. My goodness. It's crazy. So many second place finishes. It's really unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy, but like, it's crazy, dude. I'm guessing they're going to go in there. Notable driver starting in the back. Why is Haley Deegan in this? Haley Deegan is not a notable driver. That 15 is not in g that good of equipment. <laughs> SVG starting. Wait, why are, William Barr is the only notable guy starting 28 is in, in, the, in the back. Yeah, the pit stop's all the way in. Like, the pit road is all the way at the end of turn two. So. Not the end of turn two, in the back straight away. 200 laps, 200 miles. I think those will be at... I think shorter, like slightly shorter than the Vegas race. I have no idea. Same amount of laps, though. Stages 1 and 2 are 45 laps, leading to about 90. The final stage is 110 laps. That's pretty cool. Fit Road is 45 miles an hour. The field window is going to be at 85 to 90 laps. So, yeah. So, Corey High, five career Xfinity starts. 21 years old. His best finish was 10th last year in the spring Darlington race. And now the pace car hits Fit Road, and here we go. It's a good day to have a great day. Exactly, Jamie. 3, 4, 5, 6 wide, 7 wide. Where is my 8 wide racing? It's right there. And here we go. This guy says Sheldon Crew to finally win a race. I disagree. Green flag in the air. Run away. That's not 8 wide racing. That's okay. Here we go to turn one, about three, four wide, nothing too much, but Jesse Love with a crazy run in the on the bottom lane, but he's gonna get crossed over immediately. And out on the back straightaway, I think Chandler Smith took that lead there. And I think he'll clear with that lead. Really tight racing. Attacked already. I'm not surprised. You can, I think you can pass well the yellow, right? Track limits, everyone. <laughs> Not on the back straight away. Chandler Smith will get the lead. Corey Himes in third. It's not the field time to spread out. It's three wide between Retzlaff Smith, Sammy Smith, and Anthony Alfredo right now. Here they go. It's still three wide between... Well, not anymore. The 91 got clear. Here comes Sam, uh, Sam Mayer on the bottom lane. Trying to make it 3-1 on Alfredo and Smith right now. And try to pass both. Chandler Smith leading. 
And meanwhile, Sammy says battling. Hmm. There's a 7 in the 19 battling for 5th right now. Oh, guys, okay, still not clear. I'm um, looking to just go underneath him. Oh, boy. Now down the back straightaway. All guys are still not clear of him. I'm looking to shoot back down to the bottom and try and pass him. He most likely might. Still right down the bottom of him. Side by side for fifth right now. He's in a clear all guy with that move. And Amarola will get fifth. Meanwhile, behind them, there's Amendinger and Jesse Love battling for seventh. And Nima checks him back of both of them. Oh, we have a wreck. Caution. That's the 11. That's a bigger wreck than I thought it would be. But okay. Dude, the 51. I, I didn't see that well. Let's just see how this happened right here. Yeah, 51. Yeah, he had Haley pushing him. He had Haley pushing him, so... Or Haley, like, was right there in back of him. So he really had nowhere to go. And just forced it in. He just had it three wide there. Cree was involved. Well, I think Cree was like suddenly involved. He was hit a little bit. Oh, hold on. Shut up. Okay, there we go. And the start of the season cannot get much worse for Josh Williams. That's already rough. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, Williams, like, it, it's, it's continued struggles. Horrible. He has the worst start possible to this whole season. Show the kids this, Fox. They will finally get change their mind. The kids are going to get terrified of those cartoons. <laughs> Bob responded to a bot yesterday. That's crazy. How did he respond to a bot? Oh, both RCR cards did not do good in qualifying. 30th and 31st, Dylan and Kyle. Oh my gosh. Cody, bro, how many, how many, see, um, how many events has he booked for? My gosh. He had four days in a row. It was yesterday, tonight, tomorrow, Monday, and then... It's the same cycle, except this time he's not going to go to a SmackDown after that. The 15th is when The Rock is going to... The last time The Rock is going to go. Austin Dillon, I says, I am the wall. We're going to chill for a bit, but the, we move on to this ladder match. First non-singles match of the NXT TakeOver series. Okay. We had Ricochet. Okay, that's nice. Not great driver. Re not great driver reviews for NASCAR. There's a new short track package to this point. Everyone involved needs to go around the real issue and add horsepower. If not, everything else is a complete waste of time. I completely agree there. 
Where's my one fix? This Phoenix sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. I don't know. It's just not good. Uh, no, no, no. I am right. Phoenix does suck. Phoenix is not a good track. Never mind. Uh, I just have no idea. The short track package is not that good. Add horsepower or not. Do whatever. <laughs> I just have no idea what to think of this one. Uh, Williams down per row. I doubt anyone would come down this early. I wouldn't either. I just wouldn't. love finishes in the first three races 20th at Daytona after sweeping the stages same thing for Atlanta finishing 12th but sweeping the stages he has like and then Vegas got 17th um so he has like 40 points he has four playoff points <laughs> so that's crazy Chandler Smith led all nine laps of this race oh no he has 30 okay never mind I got no Here's the choose rule, or lane choice. Can tires change that fast though? 11 lap tires, can they really change that fast? Here we go. I'm about to get back into racing here. Riley Harris, 6th at Daytona, 15th at Atlanta, and 5th at Vegas. First three races for groups. Here we go. I'm about to go back green here. Herbst finished seventh or better in the last five of in five of the last six Phoenix races. But green flag back out in the air, back in the way. Custer immediately goes down to the bottom. Not as spread out as I or not as compressed as I thought the race ever would be. A little bit more spread out, but it's alright. Nemechek with a really good run on the outside lane. Gets past three cars in one time. Chandler Smith still leads them. Nemechek's going fast. My gosh. Nemechek. All the way to sixth now, which is cool. There's a battle for a second. Now Hyman Custer. Hyman's doing a lot better than I thought he would do. Biggest mover since the restart. Uh, Samir has moved up. Samir and Nemechek have moved up three. Honeyman has moved up two. Sammy Smith and Austin have moved up one. Which I don't know why that's it. Do the biggest movers right now. Okay. Nemechek currently sixth. He started ninth in the race. Herbst gets fourth. I got a 19. Ramarola and Nemechek battling for six right now. As it's four cars battling for fourth right now. I don't know why these three dogs are barking. 
Oh! Nimisha goes with the check a little bit. That leaves him back. What are they barking about, dude? They always do that. They always do that. Amarola, seven starts in his career at Phoenix. Two top tens in his best finish was sixth. Nimichek gets six, but he's not clear of Amarola yet. Patrick Evelyn is out of the race. Williams is two laps down. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My gosh, I don't know why I'm yawning so much right now. It's alright though. Someone just super rude. I just I didn't see it in time where that was. Who can not be rude? Still, Amarola is still right there with Nemechek. He he messed up that corner a little bit, and Nemechek loses him. Only Martin started 24th. He's in 20th the last eight laps. Actually, no, for the last 15 laps. Now he's in 14th. Byron. The last Xfinity race he ran was in Austin, or was in Coda. Not sure. I think he got second. Lost to Almendinger. Byron is gonna get all the way up to thirteenth here. As not even we're kind of close. Now I don't know when's halfway. Wait. I almost halfway. Anyways. 25 laps left in the state, or 26 actually. Chandler Smith's still going. He's almost two seconds ahead of Custer right now. Yep. Alright, Lee Moo, Lee Moo, and Doug commercial is now up. Vargas is a lap down. Williams is two laps down. Tweet up, okay. This Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso pairing was so entertaining. It was weird, but it was fun. And then I kind of got sick of Jey Uso. Not, I didn't get sick of him. It was just like, he was kind of overdoing it. <laughs> like the press conference was so funny though. And they won the tag team titles. Though. I did not expect them to do that. Your rent was more entertaining. <laughs> Shut up. They caught 8-11 car right to the call 8-11 race. <laughs> NXT is super so discouraging. Um, I don't watch NXT, so I don't know. I don't watch it normally. I feel like it cooks a lot of the time, and a lot of time it's just filler. It's like raw, but like... I don't know. Based on preliminary numbers last night, SmackDown scored 2.368 million viewers. Nice. Woke up just in time for F1. Slept after that. <laughs> Man, F1 has been horrendous. 
Spinning chairlist, the GOAT. <laughs> I like this guy. Wait, no, he, he wrote a whole essay, dude. Okay. Hold on. So, Sheldon Creed, this guy wrote, okay. So, there's a lot of categories. The GOAT, I like this guy. Who, no, F off. And then there's a whole section for Sheldon Creed. How in the how in the hell does this asshole have so many fans? He spent two years getting his ass kicked by his teammate, disobeying his team, getting getting them fined, and wrecking his teammate twice. But he gets rewarded with a full time ride at JTR. At JGR, yeah, that makes sense. His championship is BS two. Moffat Hill should have won that. All Sheldon is is a freaking Dawson Graham late race caution merchant. I'll probably get one range run to win this year, but it's Sheldon Creed. Twitter were freaking over celebrate over it and pretend he earned it. <laughs> Man, what is the hate for? <laughs> the hate for selling Creed in that guy is crazy. I mean, he's a little bit annoying, yeah, but how do I hate him? Mm. <laughs> I felt that crack, oh my gosh. 17 to go, though. Yeah, I was right. No, no, I was right. 20 minutes ago. Corhine currently fifth. Highest was third. Lowest is fifth right now. You only have 33 cars on lead lap right now. Vargas is off of the race. 16 to go. They got lap driver quick. Here, the top performers: Chandler Smith running first, Amarola in fourth, Corham in sixth, and Nimi checks in seventh right now. I makes it to six. Oh, he fell back to six. Okay, never mind. Bruh! Frankie is a lap down. He got like shoved. Custer's like 2.3. Why wow, my voice cracked again? Custer's 2. I need water. <laughs> I'll get it right now when the commercial comes back. I don't think they're going to go back to commercial. I think they're going to just finish the stage. But yeah, I need water right now. to go here. Nine and the two are battling for eighth right now. That is Brendan Jones and Jesse Love. Austin Hill, two wins this season. 17 laps led. Oh. Well, yeah, because they're both super sweet ways. Jesse Love dominated Atlanta, and then Fuel happened. Austin Hill was okay at Daytona, I guess. Oh, wait, 
they are gonna get back to Rare Soul. Well, it's gonna be a wreck. Oh, they were side by side, never mind. Let me just check notifications really quickly. Oh, someone's in the wall up there. That's Sieg. Creed and Sieg are battling hard. And nothing. Nah, I'm just gonna take out water now. No, doesn't matter. Came back on my refreshments. Okay. Still something to go, nothing much has really happened. It's been an okay stage. <clears throat> 40. Lap 40. Five to go here. RVs, Ws. I, I haven't tried. I haven't really had RVs in like a long time here. It's been a while. Is it, it? I don't even know if it's good, or if it's really like that good. Four to go. No. Oh, Bristol's next Saturday. Check nearly taking Sam Mary to the top lane What? I, I hate myself and my voice cracks. Need more water. Ow. My freaking arm. I, I heard it earlier. Like, I was, like, like, doing some moves really, like, like, wrestling, wrestling type moves, and I freaking <laughs> hurt my arm. I was doing a spear, and it hurt my arm. And Chandler Smith is going to dominate. My long shot is doing well right now. Green light checker. Chandler Smith gets stage one. Alright, it's been a good race for Chandler Smith already. It dominates the whole stage. Okay. Uh, 
Vargas had a mechanical issue. That's why he went to the garage. Okay. Mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. I did not mean to do any of that. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to. I did not mean to. I'm sorry. Flexing the Hall of Fame rings outside of the gloves is on un unreal aura. <laughs> Paul Ellerling is all Paul Ellerling is crazy. This was like more of a match for backlash, so Bailey and Dakota Kai, I ain't complaining though. Nah. It's alright. A man holds his old diseased heart after a heart transplant. My gosh, that looks like a freaking big ass meatball. That's crazy. What? Side note, we WWE WWE Purposely let this storyline cool down. It was the hottest view. Then WWE just stopped putting it on the TV. Mm. I'm sorry. I still can't believe this is going to be ring sponsors. That was an insane entrance. By the Rock last night, it was pretty cool. A forty-two-year-old man named Dee's Nuts was arrested in Wisconsin and charged with battery, bro. That's crazy. Show me what a real super show looks like. Ah, uh, nah. What a beautiful time. Chase Elliott, the rise of a Mickey Mouse champion. I'm not agreeing with that at all. <laughs> a, f a fluke? Delete this cold dick, maybe. I still can't wait for WrestleMania. It looks amazing so far. It looks amazing as of now. If Tiffany Trent's supposed to be a heel, WWE needs to do something right to make fans hate her because we all love her right now. Yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, they're cheering for her when she's supposed to be booed. Heels can be fan favorites, dude. Like, still, I don't know why. Give me a skill now. Let's see the fits up here. so tired right now. I'm not even tired at all. It's just what you feel for no reason. I have a feeling they're just going to go to commercial guy after showing the pit stops. Custer's gonna win the race off at road right here. Chandler Smith loses three spots. Emerald loses one. Herbs gains three. Jesse Love gets in the top today now. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I I don't know why I'm just saying okay so much. It's 420, guys! Oh my gosh! I freaked out because Ty Gibbs got this phone. Or Ty Gibbs got this thing. Okay. So apparently Nick Lights isn't third. <laughs> Did he stay out or something or what? Just wait till the race is tomorrow to make a to make a proper judgment on NASCAR's new short track package. Although my expectations are low, anyways. Jinx the package? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure I will. They really recreated it. <laughs> <laughs> KSI is just getting violated all the time. We believe in you, Noah Gregson. Who is we? Shut up. We're going to witness CM Punk win the World of Weight title on top of Cherry Freeze fla flavored Prime logo. <laughs> what did The Rock say now? The Rock again, okay. Why is The Rock so mad? AJ Styles rage quit about playing a game of Madden? How do you play raging in Madden? I don't rage in games anymore. <laughs> That's the prime reason why. I just don't I just don't like raging in games and it does not affect me at all. LA Knight versus the TV, I will be there no matter what. It's gonna be insane. I feel like if they're gonna make I feel like if they're gonna make uh, a stipulation with AJ and LA Knight, they're gonna add a freaking TV in some sort of way. I have a big feeling that's gonna happen. I never want to see a WWE on Fox ever again, USA Network, whenever let this happen. They always end up one or two minutes before the hour as well. They need SmackDown on Netflix too at the, yeah. Cry about it? The Rock was censored. The couple of weeks we had CM Punk was amazing. Yeah, it really was. It was so fun to watch him. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. I'm like, it's lap 54. Wait, how is it lap 54 if we ended like on that? It's lap 10 of stage two. <laughs> Crazy. I just noticed that. How in the why is it been so long? I'm like, wait, when it's stage, what, what lap is stage one in? 45, it's lap 54. So that means we're gonna be on lap 10 when we restarted. <laughs> Dude. Is that how short this track is or what? Either way, the green flag is back under the year. We are back underway. Custer's leader. 
Steering control. Three wide, not four wide anywhere. Custer this time is going to get somewhere, but Chandler Smith's there. This might be the... Okay, never mind. Custer did that lap. This might be the only green flag lap that Chandler Smith doesn't lead this whole day. Okay. I prefer not to do it, okay. Lap 57, lap 12. Smith is there. Is Byron trying to get in the top 10 right now? Although, yeah, that's one back here. We started at 11, I think. Only 29 cars on a big lap. As of now. Okay, they just skipped it. Okay, never mind. All I know is that there's 29 cars on a big lap. I think 36 cars are still racing. Fourth, okay. Custer still hasn't pulled away. That's how you know like his car is not even that fast. He just hasn't pulled away. The cleaner is just saving it right now. All guys started fifth. Stage one got thirty third right now. Mamarola is going. Red Phoenix, just an guy has 18 top 10s. That's the most in any track for him. Just cool. It's a cool stat there. Neiman checks up to the top five now. Passed Riley Harris for that position. Augar is still not clear of Amarola right now. So let's see. Neiman checking to go down low so he can get third. Oh, he's there. He nearly there. Seven gets in front of him, and the 19's falling back, and not just because of Nemechek's moves. The way he's going right now, and here they come to the back straight away. The 19 bumping the 20 a little bit. Oh, he's going to get him out of the way, and I think the 19's going to get fourth right here. And he's going to try and go chase down. All got her now. Yeah, they're racing so hard there. Four fourth. So, oh, Nemechek messed up that corner. I think that 19 just got away like that. 20 out of 45. In an hour. It's been a pretty decent race so far. It's been a pretty okay race. 
My hair's standing up. I just noticed that. What the heck? Byron and Jones battling for 11th right now. And I think Jones got the better hand of it. Oh. 25 to go. And we're still going side by side. I'm, I'm real surprised they're actually trying to be decent with these commercials, but not for the Cup Series. Gigi Dolan will go one on one with Ariana Grande. I forgot about that. <laughs> I, I I streamed Roadblock and I completely forgot about that already. Twenty hours until Phoenix. I won't sign your baby, but you can have a hat. Okay. Thanks, Zenny. Hamlin. There you go. 2024 Cubs Series driver tier list. Why do you, no, he hates Hamlin and Wallace. Dislikes Harrison. Henrik, okay. Gibbs, okay. I'm just saying, well, Blaney and Bell. Uh, May is Redick, Jones, Bush, Logano, Nemechek, and Kislowski. Uh, whoever the 16 is and the 17. He likes Gregson, Trix, Chastain, Barry. Oh, so that's Almendinger. This is Williams. Josh Williams. At Grala, he likes Zane Smith, Osindrick, and Priest. And his favorite... Oh, no. I already hit all his favorites. He's my favorite driver. Well, I, like he's gonna criticize me because of my opinion, because of I think I think Hamlin's my favorite driver. He's gonna I'm gonna get criticized because of it. Custer is still trying to have a lead here, as I think the seven and the nineteen caught the eighty one, and I think these double zeros pulling away here, or kind of is. I'm Twenty to go here, as here we go. It's gonna be a three card battle for a second now. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming Martin. It's going to be very hard to do it. If I'm going to try and pull off streaming Martinsville, I'm going to have to. It's going to be a very hard one because WrestleMania weekend is that exact weekend. Oh, boy. Chandler Smith is losing spots. What happened there? Amarola down to third. Or up to third. Algar to second. I have no idea what happened to Chandler Smith. He's just falling back out of nowhere. And now Custer's finally getting away from the pack. <clears throat> Eric Amarola started six. He's finished stage one and four. I think he's third right now. Um, I just wish he was full time. I guess. Custer led twenty four of seventy two laps here. Marola. Ooh, he tried on the outside, did a crossover. Just got him. This stage has been shorter than I thought it would be. <coughs> Sorry, my gosh. Jones and Creed still going for 11th right now. Byron enters the top 10. Where's Haim at? I'm as where Deegan is. He's in 24th. I don't really want to wonder what happened. I really wonder what happened. 16 spots off the pace. 
My goodness, he is the biggest one too, because Klingerman's lost three. That's it. That's the biggest one. The second biggest loser of the research. Oh, and there he goes again. Lost another spot. That's the 17th spot lost. Now it's going to be 18th with Clemens. I have no idea what's going on with him. I think he has something flat or something. I just don't know. It's currently second, though. There's Augur. I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of something right now, it's funny. I'm just pitting. Uh oh, here we go. Right rear tire. Oh yeah, that tire was loose. Okay, never mind. I'm like, I thought it was just nothing that big of a deal, but no, that tire is loose. Eleven to go. We're on lap eighty out of two hundred. SVG is in 20th right now. They're focusing on him for some reason. He's going to be passing the 5. Oh, Alfredo. It's currently 20th as highest, was 19th as lowest was where he started, which was 23rd. Anthony Alfredo is currently 19th right now. Highest was 16th, lowest was 24th on lap 49. Bounding for 19th right now. I can see that. Sammy Smith I'm doing a little bit worse than I thought he would be. Or should Rookie point standings. <laughs> this is like just clears everyone with 96. SVG has 16, uh, 60. Leland Honeyman has 42. Haley has 33, which she's doing as expected now it is. Dawson Graham is doing 15. Has 15 <laughs> rookie points. So all these guys are full-time, I'm thinking. Honeyman's full-time. Okay. Where's Honeyman at? Her honeyman is 29th. This is as high as he's been all day. His lowest was his 34th right now. Honeyman is 19 years old. He's a 2024 rookie. I think he's full time. Best finish was 18th in the spring race last year. Get to know Leland Honeyman. Yeet! On the way to that last part, okay, 10 years. Yes, uh, who doesn't not, who doesn't like Oreos? Lilo not even though. Last three races. Um, improvement? 30th to 21st and then 18th. He's in 29th right now. <laughs> He's a lap down. He's on the free pass spot, which is cool, I guess. Phoenix tomorrow at 3.30. Or at 2.30. Where am I? Damn! SVG barely saved that car. Jones gets in the top 10. Byron's in 11th right now. 
Austin Hill gets in the top 10. He's in ninth. Jesse Love's in eighth. Custer's like all the way back there. Just gonna get to the line here. Gonna be four laps to go. You know, the whole track is covered in cloud. Is it a good manager? Is it? Yeah, it's How much cleaner does Custer even have? Oh my gosh. Is there another lap card right now? No. Two to go. Chandler Smith left 48 laps. Custer led 39 so far. Chandler Smith fell back to fourth for some reason. I don't know how badly you messed up there. Uh, Vargas is officially out of the race. Still 36 cars still racing. 38 were entered. 36 are still racing. So here we go. Custer's going to get stage 2 after he completes this last lap. Although all there has caught him. There's a lap car right in front. That's BJ McLeod. You gotta wonder. Final lap of stage 2. Side by side for that. And no, it's not be much. All right. What the heck? There we go. I'm just gonna say it's gonna be lap 100 because they they got 10 laps out of the way once they when they finish stage one. Jiminy Jim Jim, why do you say that? Jiminy Jim Jim! Ugh, bro. Where's the Aver Berry now? I don't know. It's gonna be beautiful when they finally split the tag team championships. That's the same thing as splitting them, though. We're going to have New Catch Republic, AOP, The Street Profits, Legato Fantasma, LWO, all cooking on SmackDown, and DIY, Judgment Day, Viking Raiders, Imperium, New Day, all cooking on Raw. End of sheer. They suck. <laughs> Do the right thing, WWE. Bailey says, dude, I want to play summer for my entrance at WrestleMania. <laughs> they they got they better freaking go. To the this first page of the magazine is woven. Yeah, I think it is. Austin Theory is the greatest seller he never visited. Like dude, that one KO cell was a violation, dude. That was a violation. Sheldon Creed sorry at the rear. Oh, oh boy, am I excited to watch my favorite team? Sheldon Creed at the end of the race, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> 
Sami Zayn made it made his choice, but let's not forget about our sponsor Prime. Absolutely not, dude. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. Now I'm starting to hate it. It's cool, but I guess I'm just starting to hate it. Los Angeles Chargers are open to move on from Cleo Mack and Joey Bosa. Okay. Here's the current rock with Hollywood rock theme. It just feels right, man. Okay, let's see how it. Let's see how it is. That's on sick. The Rock looked kind of proud of Cody Rose for smacking him back. Yeah. When is that? Oh, damn, that's tomorrow? I did not even know that. It's crazy. When's Easter? 31st. What is it's Bristol, isn't it? <laughs> what race is on the 31st, though? It's Bristol. No, it's Richmond. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to stream it, but okay. I'm definitely not going to stream it, for sure. Unless I find some sort of blasphemic way I get to stream it, maybe. Because last th like, the last three Easter's, I could, I could never stream anything. It's always, I always, be, I always be swimming on Easter. I have no idea why. Like, last year, we went swimming in the freezing cold. Holy The road is open here. Yeah. All right, here you go. I'm hitting my head. We're going to have at least 100 laps left when we go back in. We're barely halfway done. <clears throat> Who's going to win the race off your road, though? Biggest question ever right here. Custer still got it. Herbst moves up three spots. Amarola moves down four. Sound like a blinker. The most useless backflip in wrestling history. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of that. I'm just thinking about something right now. All of a sudden, this comes to my mind. The most useless backflip in wrestling history. <laughs> and it just... For what reason? For what reason came to my mind right now? <laughs> I just don't have any... Dude, I don't know. It's just wild. Hundred four laps to go. Well, it was gonna be a hundred to go at least when they restart. Oh, this is, that's what I think. Oh no! no.
You for sale trade shipping size at seven dollars. Yeah, at least it's not forty. <laughs> Wait, what was I trying to get do? I didn't see that for my wrestling world. I hate this account, but it's just it sometimes has like real cool facts. Let's see. Zelina Vegas says that Triple H initially thought that her and Andrade were real life couple. Um, I thought it was like some sort of like, creative plan, but I guess not. Film star Sophia Leo in Passes Away, 26. I don't know who she is, but condolences her. Six to their stem. Oh, that's cool. Some Dallas Stars Twitter account. Yeah, sixteen thousand nine hundred nineteen sold out. I thought it was thirteen thousand. Okay. You're twenty years old. You could just yeah. Interesting shots here. Yeah, Cody just yapping and says just looking at him. I hate stipulations like this because it gives away the winner. Can we stop this dumb stipulation for Alabama slam into the previous moonsault of all time? It's crazy. Tiffany Stratton is her. She is. Carson is fast. He was in... Wait, where did Carson also work qualifier? I want to know. I want to know. This is, this is kind of intriguing right now. Hamlin won the poll. Where is Jose Barsari? Tenth? That's a good, that's a good. That's really good. Stream FS1, we're going, we're going green soon. Made it to Kensington, Pennsylvania. That's it? Oh. Okay, fellas, who's more dominant in their respective sport? Verstappen or Gretzky? Why is this a question? Because, attention. Why not, right? Why not? They still have them to choose. The lane choice thing. Is that Noah Grayson? I was about to say, is that Noah Grayson? Off of the team. <laughs> I need to shut up. Jamie's so much better on pit road. There's just no offense to her commentary, but like she's much better on pit road. I'm okay with her commentating, but like she's so much better on pit road. I don't. I'm just. She's not good at commentary on. She's not good at commentary. Green flag back on the end. The final stage is underway. Okay, for the first time ever to this whole day, we go four wide. That's Austin Hill. I'm not surprised at the slightest. Ugh. My voice cracked. Like, you cannot believe it. I heard it myself. Ugh. Anyway, there's Sheldon Creed right there next to Austin Hill. Or to Sheldon Creed. Reset violation? Who had that? Frankie Munitz! Aww. That sucks. Ugh, it's terrible. He did that way too early, I guess. If this race goes green, we have about a like. <laughs> Maybe I just really don't feel like the caution's gonna happen. This has been a this has been a pretty mid race to be honest with you. A 
lot of fall off here. And it happens quickly, too. Need to really preserve it. I think they need at least two more. At least. The most they need is two more. That's the most they need. Two more stops. Sam Air started 21st. He's stages 1 and 2 got 7, so that's 8 stage points this whole day. Jesse Love started 7th, uh, 10th, and 8th in stage, stages 1 and 2. Uh, currently 8th right now. So that's 4 stage points this whole day. Creed is in, is in 10th right now. Sam Mary is in 7th, which is pretty nice. Wait, okay, never mind. I got it now. 21st in the top 10, yeah. I, like, the most recent I saw Sam Mary was, like, he was battling for 20, for 21st with, I think, Alfredo. Or, no, Sammy Smith. And now he's there. Now he's in 7th. I was wondering when that happened. Chandler Smith finally gonna come back for the lead. Chandler Smith was like just way too fast. In that first stage. I'm tired. I have no idea what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I have to go. The sun came back out again. The sun, like, really, really came out. Now they're back in the cloud cover. Oh, Smith is going to move him up. Not really. Never mind. 92 to go. It's like shoving him. Custer's trying his best to block right now. No, he got underneath him. To the bottom of the track. Custer can just keep the lead here. Side draft. It's gonna get. It's gonna get Smith the lead, and it's gonna. It's gonna get it easily for him. Yep. There's Jeff Burn. Where's where is Jeff Burn Valley for? Fifteenth? Hill isn't a pass him. Where were they going on about? Custer falling back, he's down a third. All guys gonna get second. Amarola's gonna try and get this right here. At this point Amarola looks faster than them. I think Amarola is faster than both Custer and Herbs, I think. <laughs> There's that 19. They got around 19, got around. Custer, Custer's all the way back in fifth now. All right. This is the one time they did not go to side by side. I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. But at the same time, I'm not.
<laughs> Bro. Why did the quote tweet and do that as well? It's like signing Greg Gold and then calling him good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of see his point there. Like, you can't just call him one of the greatest drivers ever if he hasn't really proved much. Like, one awesome race at Vegas does not prove a good point. Yes, he is being decent. It does not mean he's freaking like a playoff, like a round of eight contender right now. Best WrestleMania stages of all the time. I have seen this a lot of times. There's... Which one was this one? I already forgot. There was that MetLife. It was pretty cool, though. There's the one at MetLife. There's 33, which I love so much. There's 34, which was okay. And there's 39. Yeah, excuse me, but capitalize the G, please. Yes. Timmy Shine backstage and smack down this account. I hate it. The amount of title changes that are going to happen on the Prime bottle is just absurd to think about. Yeah, I hate it so much. This shot is insane at the rock. Yeah, it's really cool. This segment rude. Ruled. Oh, sorry, Bianca Belair has no sympathy for Bailey because damage control made her life. HELL! Yeah. I, I feel like a Bianca heel turn is gonna come out. I, I hate it, but I love it. At the same time. It's gonna hurt! Okay. What is day first time of the race track? Awesome for you. What if Seth turns on Cody, Rock turns on Reigns, Sokoa turns on Reigns, which will lead to the Ambrose return, and the shield makes it come back to... I'm not going to acknowledge that at all. <laughs> oh, the amount of delusion is crazy. We're on lap 120 right now. I wonder when the pit cycle will, will begin. It's a what if, yes. But like, What? Cody the Rock and Solo teaming up against the Shield in 2025. Roman and the Rock's already going to happen, and the Roman is going to retire at WrestleMania 41 or 42, given his conditions. Justin Allgaier finished started fifth. Uh, he's collected a healthy amount of stage points today. He's collected around 17, but he's second right now. Riley Herbst. Uh, finished fifth in both stages and has collected around 12 stage points. He's third place right now, which is a little bit not talked about today. We're not talked about right now. Zach and Marola. Started sixth stage, uh, finished fourth in stage one, third in stage two. He's fourth right now. Doing pretty well. Pretty well right now. Nima checks. Started ninth stage. Stage one got ninth as well. Stage two got six and now he's fifth. Now they're on seven stage points today as well. I'm sorry. Almanier started today has not gotten any stage points and he's currently twenty second, struggling on the day right now. Twelfth and thirteenth the stages one and two. Currently twenty second. Three wide for for ninth right now. Byron Creed and Jones. Byron's been okay this whole day. He's been up and down and up and down mostly.
Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, no, I got it now. Wait, do I got it or not? Oh, it's not the cop race. I forgot. Because I'm like, why is the race like in the final stage? But it's only been an hour. I'm, I'm like, it's the Xfinity race. It's not the cop race. Dang, I'm stupid. Holy crap. Custer currently seven, highest was first, lowest was six, sixty laps led. Off a pace, seven spots lost for Almendinger, six for Custer, three for Deegan, SVG, and Brennan Poole. Austin Hill, 20 tracks to the top fives. No top fives at Phoenix. And there's Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith is doing underwhelming today. Started 14th. He's 14th right now. Stages 1 and 2. Got 22nd and 20th. W's. Let's do this. Was fine. Hey, if it lasted longer, I would have been okay with it. It's a nice little relaxation time. Just relaxing there, just listening to the sounds of the engines. I'm crank it up. And a clack? What? <laughs> Alright, so this needs to go. They can go full screen again for all I care. Yeah, they're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> How can we fight lung cancer? I have no idea. I'm sorry, I just have no idea. Alright, let's check random tweets again, because I want something to talk about. Instead of just being quiet. Timmy shot net with a fan last night who was a cancer survivor. Do you have any nice or something I never thought I would see? <laughs> that 
That that's so wholesome though. Tiffany being nice is something I never thought I would ever see. <laughs> to literally be honest, it's something I never thought I would actually see. That's crazy. <laughs> it's cool though, it's cool though. Like still. I just never it's like not to be like rude. But like I've never seen that. I've never seen her being nice. KSI in twenty twenty four. He'll die. Since we Yeah, no comment. When was the last time you went to a Packers game? Never <laughs> Tom Grossi went. You can ask him. Streams all of it too. I've gone from not liking Tiffany on NXT to now her being one of my favorite women in the whole company. Yeah, my top five favorite wrestler, women's wrestlers are number one is Liv, number two is Tiffany, number three. Okay, I forgot now. <laughs> I just thought Tiffany is in that list, but who's number three in my opinion for women's wrestling? Like, active wrestling? Like, all time I know, but for this, I don't. There's Liv, there's Tiffany. Number three would probably be Rhea? Rhea or Bailey? Okay, number three is Bailey, number four is Eo, actually. No, number four is Eo and Dakota. And number five is Rhea. I don't know. Six to like. Oh, there's a caution. Is that for Dan or what? This is. A Doesn't she save it? Why the caution him out? That did not deserve a caution. She literally scrapped the wall. She literally scrapped the wall. How is that a caution? Is that a caution, dude? She literally got loose, scrapped the wall, and saved it. And that's a caution. Just a swear it. Pits are open now. They want something interesting to happen. They didn't want green flag good stuffs. Yeah, who's gonna get the the money stuff? Who's gonna take advantage of this ring? So there's Nima checking in. Check there. Yeah, we'll get the lead. Nemo check was my main pick to win this race, and he's winning now. <laughs> I just noticed. I completely forgot about that. To be honest with you. Early 2000s random cautions are back. Look, I get the race was boring, but yeah, bro, that's not a caution. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Did it do? 
was not worthy of a caution whatsoever. I'm not going to lie. This race is... Yeah, yeah, okay. I can tell that the race is unbelievably mid. <laughs> but you got to have some dignity. That's crazy to say, though. I'm not kidding. But, like, that's wild. Yeah, that's so true. She literally saved it, too. That was a, good, that was a cool save. That, that was a, it's been too long without a caution, caution. They've done this before, I swear. Caution is for Deegan. And this guy screams in all caps, how is that a caution? There is some debris, they sent some trucks to that area, which, okay. Thinking about that crapshoot, elimination chamber match for the WWE title. Riddle, Rollins, Lesnar, Lashley, Theory, Styles. That would have been a banger match, but of course, L Lesnar had to win. Styles should have won. Whole pay every Saudi Arabia pay per views are horrible, dude. Not kidding. This is I hate them. I don't hate them. It's an they're just annoying. Oh shit, it's annoying. Dang, dude. Smart out moment. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. NXT signed to deliver this WrestleMania. Backlash. Battleground is the day after that Saudi Arabia pay per view, which I have no idea what it is. There's the Bash from Berlin. I completely forgot that was a thing. I, I forgot that was a thing. But I think it's Night of Champions. Okay, I'm going to try and switch it up, man. WWE and Saudi Arabia. Worst thing ever. Uh, Anthony Alfredo... And lights to the rear for spinning up your road. Okay. For a day to go. Yeah, exactly, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Very nice way to say. It's funny. Well, this guy's completely. It's not completely cleared up, but like it's more sunny than it was an hour ago. Which, yeah, we're gonna have fifty-seven to go. I'm hoping it stays green. They just threw the caution just because the green flag is back on the air. They're back in the way. Mayor trying to get trying to get up there. There's four wide back there. First time we see Algar have a good lead here, and he's gonna pull away with it. Oh no! And there we go. Holy crap! Mayor got destroyed, and that's the big one. That's the big one, dude. Okay, okay. God, calm down. That's the big one. At, that's the big one at Phoenix. That's a lot of cars. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was immediate. Literally, NASCAR is regretting. NASCAR is regretting ever throwing that caution earlier. I really want to see what happened there. That's the big one. I don't care what you all say. That's the big one. Mayor's pissed off. 
<laughs> Mayor is just like <laughs> he's making those gestures. All right, I don't know. The, I don't know if I would say gestures, but like it. That's some action there. That is some action there. Redslav looks frustrated. Understand him? Oh, okay. I thought Jeff Brown was gonna go up there to like confront her or something. I forgot they were teammates as well. There's gonna be a long play up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably like just say. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Three wide there. It was so quick when it happened. Oh, Herb's got real loose, and so did Nemechek Smith turn him, and boom, there goes three cars. I didn't even think it was going to be that big of a, of a wreck, but okay. It kind of was. That 98 went up in the air. There goes Brennan Pohl, and that's the big one. I'm going to say that's the big one, because that's the, the amount of cars that were involved in that, that were completely like, crashed out of it were crazy. But yeah. Did Haley Deegan run out of talent again, or am I just saying things? Chandler got hit. He turned his own teammate. There he goes, Herbst, Mayor. <laughs> Clareman tried slowing down. He actually did a really good job of doing that. Amarola got involved. Same thing with Hill and Byron. Reslock right in the back of Mayor. And freaking Herbs' car kind of lifted up in the air a little bit. Her, her bird took a hard hit. Deacon tried getting out of the way, but she had Ellis behind him. Red Slop went up in the air a little bit as well. These guys got hit hard. Yeah, these are hard hits. Yeesh. Let go of the wheel, son. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Everyone agrees with you that that was a big one. They made it through because they're the leader. They were the leader. Bro, I'm getting pissed off. Sam Harris had another three day naps and four race. Dang. Red flag in the air. They're actually going to red flag you, which is, I'm not surprised at all. Now, NASCAR manufactured them the wreck. commercial break let's go over how terrible Saudi Arabian WWE pay-per-views are 
Because I can. Deegan's involved, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> anyway. NASCAR literally manufactured them to wreck or yeah. If it in Saudi Arabia, everyone. Oh no. Controversies, bruh. Yeah, I remember like they couldn't really do much. First ever women's match, yeah. Ugh. Sami Zayn did not participate in the Greatest Rumble. Okay, never mind. They're back. Hold on, I just want to. I just want to read this real quick. <laughs> My gosh, dude. I guess I really didn't see much. He was on the inside lane, and they were just wrecking in the top lane. And then... They were just wrecking on that top lane, and then they just came down, collected Sam, 
And that's what happened. Let's just see what's going to happen now. Sammy Smith finally gets in the top five, I think. Sam, Sam took hard hits. My goodness. Yeah, he took a real, like, yeah, he took a lot of hard hits in that car there. Dang. 98 and the 20. Literally everyone in the wreck just got, like, hit so hard. Dang. Freaking 31? 27? 15? Isn't it always in a bad spot right here? Just under a red flag right now. What's going to be going on? All guy are first, Custer in second. And they're focusing on these guys fishing on the outside. What on the outside is like? I want, I want to see the zoom out. I just want to see how far they are from the track. Because they're focusing on these guys fishing in some sort of river. They went. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know where that angle came from. But okay. Okay. All right, so let's try and see what the goes on here. Digging and even check them for the day. Mary Burton out of care center. Okay. Man, everyone who's shocked by Haley Deegan making out of the race, raise your hand. Exactly. Okay, let's see. First of all, the first one was, oh, God, greatest Royal Rumble. Oh, let's see what happened here. Ten matches? My gosh. Braun Strowman won the Rumble. Brock Le Lesnar and Reigns is crazy. Okay, John Cena versus Triple H. How long was this event, dude? I just want to see how long this was. Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. So look how there's no women in this match. There's no women in this match. My gosh. 50 man normal. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns again. Undertaker Rusev. Undertaker, dude. Dang. I, I, I didn't even know. That happened? Undertaker and Rusev. <laughs> I did not even know that happened. That was, that's crazy. AJ Shinsuke. Another one. Seth Rollins ladder match. That, this was okay, I guess. It's ten matches is crazy, though. That's crazy. Okay. Next was 2018 Crown Jewel. Holy crap. I can already... Just by looking at the freaking poster, I can just see. Okay, first of all, Shinsuke versus Rusev. I guess. Rey Mysterio will be Randy by... In five minutes? That's trash. The Miz beat Jeff Hardy, Seth, Bobby. In f Dude, in five minutes, Seth beat Bobby, but Dolph Ziggler beats Kurt Angle in eight minutes. My gosh. The Miz beat Ray. Okay, never mind. How are these all more? AJ Styles beats Samoa Joe. Brock Lesnar beat Braun Strowman in one minute! Shane beat Dolph in two minutes! Dude, and then there's DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Oh my god. I want to see how pissed everyone got. Okay, it's really not going to show me. Okay. Aftermath. Reception. Genuinely negative. Yeah, C minus rating. So I'm so glad. And the next up was a uh, super showdown. Damn it. Look at that. Super shut on Undertaker Goldberg. Okay, let's just read random tweets now. 
Cars have been refired, so we're gonna go under caution, I guess. I hate Saudi Arabia so much. <laughs> Anyways, we're, the engine should be, yeah, the engines are refired, so we're gonna go back to the yellow. Huh. The lighting is wild. Okay. I'm already, I'm already gonna, yeah, okay, anyways, <laughs> let's try this again, okay, now I'm gonna, Finally back under caution. We still have a good amount of racing left until the end of it, which I feel like th th if the caution never came out for this, we would be having we would be nearing the end right now. But no. Fifty-two to go. Okay, so we're gonna. Coda's next week. Okay. I don't know if I'm excited for that. Are they? Um. Do they still keep? Are they gonna like keep doing the no cautions thing? At the end of stages, or are they just gonna start doing them again? I don't know why. Like I don't know why, cause like last year it worked fine. But oh, I know why. Never mind. Fucking idiots, dude. Sorry. I I don't I don't mean to swear, cause I normally don't like doing that. I normally just try and keep it PG. But dude, like, it's pissing me off how idiotic fans are sometimes. Like. Before they start asking to like take away stage cautions, they they were experimenting with it on road courses. It worked fine. All of a sudden, fans are like, "This is boring racing, idiots! You wanted this. Now they want the friggin' stage cautions back. And what will that do? It will make the races much worse. No, like, no flow in anything, and just gonna. Ugh. It it was such. It was so nice to finally have natural cautions back, and then fans complain again. No, they're never happy. That's ugh, pisses me off all the time. It's sometimes. Damn, dude, it's annoying. Fifty one to go. They're still roaming around the field. March 9th. What happened on March 9th? On this day, March 9th, 2008, Kyle Busch gives Toyota their first Cup Series win in Atlanta. Uh, in, in 1964, on this day, the first Mustang produced by Ford. In 1959, Barbie <laughs> introduced by Mattel. Okay. Now this is not NASCAR. For some reason, they're just saying, oh, on this day in 1964, Mustang was added to Ford, and all of a sudden, Barbie released by Mattel. What does that have to do with NASCAR or cars or anything? Mm.
Fifth, there you go. Alright, here we go. It's gonna be four nine to go when they go back green. Here we go. Sheldon creates in the yeah. Figure Clickerman's back in the top five. Green fly back on the air, back in the way. Read up to third, and I think the seven is going to get away on that restart here. Or on this restart here. No! Brandon Jones, I don't even know. Yeah, that's Brandon Jones, and they wrecked the field again. Luckily, didn't. 48 to go. Oh, yeah, no, no, he's going to do it. Never mind. Jones is driving really recklessly right now, and there's Austin Hill on the wall. 13 and ball. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is tire rub. A little bit of rubbing by that nine. This is Costa going to try and go for third right here. Muniz is back in the race. Uh, 17 laps down. Here's Custer. You're going to go all the way down to the dog leg. Try and get that spot back. I think he'll get it in this corner, which he definitely will. Uh, it's a fast start. Here comes Sheldon Creed. And his old ride, which is being now driven by Jesse Love. What is he messing around with in there? It's crazy. 46 to still go, though. Oh, the Creed nearly. He puts Custer in the wall. I was about to say he nearly did it, but now he actually did it. But here comes Jesse Love. Uh, three wide. Between him, Creed, and Custer. Dang. Ryan Sieg's in six? Dang. I need Chandler Smith to win this race, <laughs> to be honest with you. Last week at Vegas, started 6th. He finished 7th. You can jump for Ryan C. He finished top 10 in C, just 1 and 2 as well. That was last week. This week, he's doing... He's been doing okay. I haven't seen him all day, though. And now he's in 6th, doing pretty well. 44 to go. Let's see how this goes. Battle for the lead, Chandler Smith and, and Justin Algar. I need Chandler Smith to win. He's my long shot. Either Chandler Smith or Sheldon Creed. Because Sammy Smith was my backup pick. Neiman checks out of the race. Sammy Smith was my backup pick. Creed was my second backup. And my long shot was uh, Chandler Smith. Right now, he nearly wrecked Algar. Oh, but there's a slow car on track. That's going to cause a caution for sure. Oh, no, Ryan Sig is not be run. Okay, yeah, uh, I thought they were going to definitely call the call the caution there. Chandler's going. Although I feel like all guys are going to start to pull away here. I have no idea what happened, but okay. Uh, yeah, she's getting mad at my dog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> She is like so misbehaving. Like they got the. Uh, they have three dogs. One of them, two of them are, are boys. One of them is a girl. Uh, one a teacup Pomeranian, uh, a Chihuahua, and a Shih Tzu. Uh, the Shih Tzu is a girl, and she is just, <laughs> she just hates it. She just hates us. Oh, she doesn't hate us. She's like. 
She's never listening. She's never doing anything. <laughs> she's never like. She's always breaking rules and all that and all that stuff. And it's it's funny, but it's annoying. She bites a lot too. <laughs> there we go. When my brother yells, it sounds so horrible. Yeah, okay, man. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, and I. <laughs> you know how much I wish I could get my own place, and so I can get away from this distraction and stuff. Motor thirty nine to go as Custer and Love are battling for fourth right now. Alfredo and Brandon Jones are battling for 10th. Damn, Shane Van Gisberg is going to get in the 10th right here. Freaking. Let's continue as now. All guys is pulling away. I don't know who I'm going to pick for the Phoenix race tomorrow. Or for the Cup race tomorrow. I'm sorry. I don't know who I'm going to pick, though. There's a lot of good options. I would pick Hamlin, but he's never wins there anymore. I would pick Kyle Busch, but he's been kind of iffy. And plus, he qualified 31st. I would pick... Byron, but right now he's not even doing good in the lower series, so I I just have no idea <laughs> anymore. Probably like a Penske driver, probably like Lagano or something. I have no idea. Brandon Jones is right there in tenth. Uh, Alfredo though is the biggest mover since the restart. Six spots. Honeyman has moved up five. Nick Lights has moved up three. So has BJ McLeod and Sammy Smith has only moved up two. He's an eighth right now. 36 to go. Okay. It really has. <laughs> yeah, I see. Cracking the crap out of my neck right now, my gosh. Like, a few months ago, I'm not, I wouldn't be used to it, but like, now, I can crack it like six different times. Like, it's only at once, it's only at once. I cannot crack it like a lot. But like, I can do it six times. <laughs> like, one move I can crack it six times, the other one I can crack it six as well. Spring break has started for me, which is awesome. Florida gets the worst calls I've seen in quite a... Okay, so let's go over worst pay-per-views from Saudi Arabia again, because I'm not done. I, I, I didn't hear that whole rant from that guy who commented earlier. Uh, thoughts on Saudi Arabia? Hell no. <laughs> Let's keep looking, right? Okay, shall we? Since there's 32 to go. Undertaker versus Goldberg. Oh my gosh. Let's see the results here. The Usos be whoever this is in seven minutes. Seth Baron Corbin. How did. Never mind. Demon Finn be on dry. Okay, this doesn't even look that bad. This doesn't look too bad. Round one handicap. Randy Orton beat Triple H. Lashley Sherman. This does not look that bad. This is a 51 man, 51 man battle royal, huh? Yeah, the end of it just was actually like the worst thing ever. I don't think beating Goldberg or just that whole match. My goodness, dude. Horrible. 
Oh uh, no. Super Shot on 2020. Let's keep going. <laughs> I I don't wanna I don't <laughs> No, it's Crown Jewel 2019. That's the main event. What is this? What is this? Humberto, Eric Rowan, winner for okay. Brock Lesnar, okay, okay. Thirty two minutes long. The OC Viking Raiders tag team tomorrow. World WWE we tag team World Cup thirty two minutes. Mansour beat Cesaro. Okay, this doesn't even look that bad either. This Natalia Lacey Evans, Team Hogan, Team Flair, ten bad tag match. The Fiend beat Seth Rollins. This was not even that bad. This doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look too bad. What is the main event, though? Braun Strowman, Tyson Fury, Brock Lesnar, Kane Velasquez? What is this? Super Shot on 2020. Oh, no. Okay, this one apparently was the worst one. This one was apparently the worst one. OC beat the Viking Raiders again. Okay. Undertaker beat Gauntlet match. Okay, I didn't even see that. I didn't even know that happened. 28 to go, though. Morrison winner. Okay, Garza. Okay. Seth Rollins and Murphy with the profits. Mansoor. <laughs> Saudi taker, bro. One minute long. Like, he got... He got... How do you say it? How did Goldberg... Okay, I don't, okay, I'll stop looking now. But, like, how did Goldberg squash freaking Bray? How did, how did Goldberg squash the Fiend? Okay, I'll stop now. 27 to go. Nothing has happened. That's why I haven't... That's why I've been talking about how Saudi Arabia pay-per-views suck. But, yeah, so far nothing really has happened. They're just focusing on Creed right now. He's in third. Six seconds back, though. <laughs> no, that was their last commercial. So, right now, I'm just going to yap a lot. Sheldon Creed finished six or better back-to-back -to -back top threes in the, in the last three races at Phoenix. So, that's cool, I guess. Come on, daylight savings time. Okay, 25 to go. So apparently Jesse loves catching him. <laughs> no, honestly, Joey is not wrong in that one. They did no one wants to hear this part today. <laughs> Let's see where everyone is on the track. Brandon Jones is in 10, 14.8 seconds back. And Cloud's in 20th, or now Ellis is in 20th, 25 seconds back. Uh, last crowd on the lead lap is uh, Brandon Pohl, 22 of them are on the lead lap right now. You guys, I'm going to have to see what else is there. Well, now McLeod's in 20th, 24.7 seconds back now. Uh, last car on the lap is Brandon Pohl. Byron's lap down. Uh, Hyman and Hurst are two laps down. Kyle Six three laps down. Smithy and Williams are four laps down. Dawson Crown is six laps down. And Admiral and Nemechek, Deegan, Mayer, Red Slapper, and Vargas, and Emerling are out of the race. <laughs> so this should be fun. This is real fun right here. Uh, Frankie Muniz is down per run. He's losing a lot more laps. Only 22 cars on the lap. Well, 30 of them are still racing for now. All guy has been, has been losing time on the leader lately. I mean... Roman or Algar has been gaining time on him, or as oh I'm sorry, Almaninger has been like increasing his time between him and Chandler Smith, but now, but now he's losing it. Okay, now he's getting it back. I don't know, but twenty one to go here. Oh, no, we only have 29 cars racing now. Uh, Frankie Mundus is off the race. Twenty-one to go, or twenty to go now. All right, so let's let's keep let's keep looking on how horrible it is. Over beating, beating the fiend. 
How did Goldberg win that title, first of all? Why? He should have retired, like, a long time ago. Crown Jewel 2021. Okay. Let's see how terrible this one as well. Oh, no. I'm not ready for this. Okay, the Usos beat the Fravers. It's okay. That's fine. Nick Lates. Three critics, many starts. This is his third one, I guess? Blaine Perkins, 46 career starts. His best finish was a top 10 last year in the fall of Martinsville race, or two years ago. And him and Perkins are battling for 16th right now, which is pretty cool. Edge beat Seth in the Hell in a Cell match. Okay, this actually looks good. Mansoor beat Ali. This cool Saudi taker is undefeated there. They're still battling for 16th, which is actually pretty cool. They're focusing on these guys. They're focusing on these guys more than leader. And there's Leland Honeyman in 15th. Top 15 right there. RK, Broby, AJ, and Omos. Okay. Zelina Vega defeat Dojo. That's what she was called, my man? How does Goldberg win? Okay, never mind. I got it. Woods beat Balor. King of the Ring. Okay. Big E beat McIntyre. Okay, okay. I got it now. That's cool, though. Lynch beat Belair and Sasha. Okay. Reigns beat Lesnar. And this doesn't even look like, like that. Does, doesn't even look like that bad of a show, so... I'll give it that. Weatherman, 112 career when he starts at 26 years old. Best finish was 8th three times. Where is he at now? He's in 14th, okay? Doing pretty decent. I'm trying to balance just talking about both things. Remember that cotton ball? <clears throat> you still had it? No. You got scared, didn't you? No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You did. Okay, Ray defeated the Miz by pinfall. Reigns beat Goldberg, and that was Goldberg's last thing, and I hope he stays gone. Naomi and Ronda defeat Sh uh, Charlotte and Sonya. What is that? Drew beat Mac at Moss. False guy anywhere. Lynch defeated Lita. Elimination Chamber match with Lesnar. Okay, this was not a good show. Shane Van Gisberg is 11th. Haley Higgins out. Also, guys in 29th. Okay. Crown Jewel 2022 was actually... I think it was pretty forgettable as well. Lesnar, Lashley, ugh. Damage Control be Alexa and Oscar. He knows right. McIntyre defeat Kerry and Cross. Jokic, 6-9 tag. He was alright. Okay. This seemed like it was alright. It was alright. Okay. Two career wins for Clements. Yeah, shout out to him. To be honest with you. Uh, Road America 2017. I think, and it was one America 2017 and Daytona in 2022, I'm pretty sure. That was when Jerry Clements, those were Jer Jeremy Clements' wins. Alright, Night of Champions was pretty okay. Oh, guys, now it's going to be uh, at least a three second lead. Crown Jewel this year was pretty forgettable. Yeah, this was pretty forgettable. <laughs> it was okay. It was just a glorified Raw and SmackDown combined to two. Just not, I just feel this this race has nothing happening right now. It just they're just showing a lot of stuff on the drivers in the back. I'm just t typing the tweet now. Okay. That's enough of that now. Only 16 cars on Lee Lab. Blaine Perkins is the last car on Lee Lab 29.3 seconds back. Chandler Smith's catching up. Oh, dang. 
But the seven has to pass two cars that are two lap cars, and then he's good. And then he's good. He passed the twenty nine. I think he only has to pass the forty two now. Of oh, Honeyman. But Chandler's catching up though. He's two point two seconds back. Oh my gosh, he's catching up. Okay. Let's not panic here. <laughs> Honeyman, and then no, in like five seconds he'll get Weatherman. Weatherman's like five seconds ahead. He just needs to get past Honeyman now. If Honeyman can stall him for just a little bit, that'll allow Chandler to catch up. He's two point three seconds back now. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. He was just up by. He was just up by at least three seconds now, and now we're. Well, now it's a big battle for third between Jesse Love and Sheldon Creed right now. Yeah, no, he's gonna completely get away from him now. He's done with lap cars. Yeah, it's it's basically over now. All guys is gonna win it. But Sheldon Creed gets third. Is is in third right now. Battling with Jesse Love. Oh, bump and run. This is a good battle right now. Seven to go. Dang, shot. Like, they're 10 seconds back. My gosh. Six to go. Dang, this, this is going fast. Three seconds now, that's how far he's ahead. Dang, he's going. Really going now. Five to go. Guys just destroying it. Oh no! No way! He crashes for the lead! No! That was a hard hit! No! Are you kidding me right now? No way. No way, dude. That is crazy. And now they're going to have to go to overtime. Dude. That was a hard hit, too. Dude, that was wild. No way right now. We went through the dog like no issue. And the tire just blows out. Oh my gosh, that was a hard hit too. Heartbreaking loss there. Once he got on the brakes, that's when the tire like blows up. That's not real time. I'm not going to want to see it in real time anymore. That's crazy. Hit. It's frustrated, dude. Pissed off, I can tell. Dude, like I would be too. There's no there's nothing. I I really would be too, like, damn. I really would be too. I mean if I was leading the race, I was I had a three second gap over the second place guy, I would be frustrated too if the tires were blown out for no reason. I was Clements and eleven, that's good.
He does er you do everything right and then all of a sudden it just kills you in the end. Dang, dude, that's a hard hit though. That's crazy. Top three. There's only one win in between those two. Between those three, Chandler Smith is one of them. He won at Richmond. He won at Richmond. I think that was last season or the season before. I have no idea. And then Sheldon Creed doesn't have any, and neither does Sheldon. Uh, neither does Jesse Love. <sighs> oh, sorry. Dang, that's a destroyed car. No, no, it's not gonna get fun. Make sure we got Josh Williams one spins up. Chandler Smith won stage one. I'm staying out. How many how many losses are in here for overtime? Two or four? Sixteen wins, fifty top fives, eighty one top tens, all the most by any team. That's Juggers Racing here at Phoenix. In these races. <laughs> I remember that, okay. Top five career wins. Yeah, Custer has 13, Austin has 8, and Chester has 1. Sheldon and Jesse have nothing.
Gonna get ready for overtime here. This should be interesting. You credit one overtime here. Here we go. See, life should I, if leader takes the white flag, the next flag ends the race. Caution, prior to white flag causes restart. I think we've been through this. Unlimited attempts, though, sucks. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Oh, no way. It's not like Jamie wants them to wreck. Oh, boy. If Chandler Smith wins, I'll be happy. That's it. Sheldon Creed's got to try everything here. <laughs> or maybe he's just going to get second again. There we go. Not on the back straight away. Here they go. Here they come. Here's Chandler right here. He's going to do it. White flag's in the air. One left to go. Oh, shoot. Sorry. There we go. And side by side for a second, that's just going to allow Chandler Smith to get away there. Oh, here's Creed. Can he just try? And just within, like, Chandler Smith. Nothing there. Chandler Smith is going to get the win. Dang. Second career win for Chandler Smith. My long shot won. Whoops. Smith finishes his burnout as let's go let's um I think if they show the results I'm gonna do it. But yeah. The race started off with a Jeremy Clements or or Josh Williams uh wreck and then all of a sudden nothing else. Chandler Smith did get the stage one win. Okay, let's go over your results real quick though. Uh Chandler Smith did win, Jesse Love got second, Sheldon Creed third, Austin Hill got fourth, which was a little bit surprising. Um, Cole Custer got fifth. Shane Van Gisbergen with a sixth place finish. Brandon Jones seventh. Parker Clickerman will finish eighth. Sammy Smith ninth. And Anthony Alfredo, damn, rounds out your top ten. Leland Honeyman eleventh. Ryan Segan twelfth. Uh, Blaine Perkins in thirteenth. B.J. McLeod in fourteenth. Jeremy Clements in fifteenth. Kyle Weatherman in sixteenth. Nick Lates in seventeenth. AJ Armeninger eighteenth. A little bit surprising. JJ Gailey nineteenth. And Brandon Paul runs out your top twenty. Ryan Ellis twenty first. Corey Hyde twenty second. William Byron twenty third. Riley Harrison twenty fourth. Kyle Seek twenty fifth. Garrett Smith twenty sixth. Josh Williams twenty seventh. Dawson Cram in twenty eighth. Justin Allgaier twenty ninth. And Frankie Muniz runs out your top thirty. Eric Amaral thirty first. John Hurd Newman thirty second. Haley Deacon thirty third. Sam Mayer thirty fourth. Parker Russell thirty fifth. Jeff Brown thirty sixth. Ryan Vargas, 37th, and Patrick Emmerling finishes last.
from dominating to wasn't great to we were dominating again to wasn't great again. Uh, we just lacked a little bit on the seven. I hate that that happened to him. He definitely had that in the back, so I hate it for his guys and all. But uh, our car was definitely as fast as Xfinity 10G today. And I'm so I know they're going to say that. Uh, it's good finally to get this first one off my back for these guys, so let's go uh, keep racking them up. Second career win for Chandler Smith. Awesome. Awesome for Chandler Smith out there. Yeah, Chandler Smith did get the stage one win after that. And nothing else happened. Cole Custer won stage two, and then it just went green. And all of a sudden, Haley Deegan literally just like, like did a little tap to the wall. And that apparently wasn't, that apparently was a caution. And yeah. Okay. And then all of a sudden, the big one happens. Uh, and the big one happens. All hell breaks loose, and then the red flag comes out. And then, there we go. Yeah, nothing else happened. Oh, wait. Yeah, just until Justin Nagar is about to win it, uh, he completely blows the tire and gets destroyed. It, it really sucks for him. I did not want that to happen. Like, I didn't pick him, but, like, I'm relieved because, like, uh, my long shot won, but, but, yeah, it's whatever, though, like, Chandler Smith did get, the, did pick up the win, happy for him, and, yeah, that's gonna do it for the stream, I'm gonna rate this race, uh, 3.3 out of 5, it was, actually, no, it did a little bit better, 3.6 out of 5, it was pretty okay, uh, not that bad, it was entertaining to watch at times, but it was not, not, like, a rewatchable race, but, like, it was, it was pretty okay. So that's going to do it for this stream, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. And have a good day. Goodbye.